He's the worst. The baby, how forward? Oh. No! Well, uh. He just doesn't know when to stop eating this stuff. You think you're just the head honcho here, aren't you? <laughs> ah! Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Urban Rescue Branch. I just got done uh, helping out with the kids' church today. And boy, do I have an exciting video for you guys today. That's right. We are going to be finishing up this whole left side of the fence. So now it's going to be a lot more quiet, too, because this is going to be a sound barrier. We cut down all these nasty trees right here that were keeping this fence from being able to go up. As you can see, the building is done, and the imposter is sus among us. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, my chickens are just sitting in the neighbor's property, eating all of the bugs in their woods. Kind of annoying, though, that this fence still isn't done, even though all the materials are here. I burnt this stump completely, and I still need to burn that stump right there. But this is it, you guys. The building is completely done. We still need a longer section of trim because the trim they sent wasn't really the right size. But that's okay because the building is almost done. And this is what it looks like, you guys. We still need to get the garage doors, and I need to start prepping for snowmageddon in 3.0 here at the urban rescue ranch we're not going to be getting snow but it is going to be going down to 12 degrees or 18 degrees for the low for the three days straight those temperatures could actually kill some of our animals we did patch up the area here that they destroyed the plumbing sure hope there aren't any little leaks that we don't know about that they just kind of covered up with dirt these are the materials that weren't the right size that we still just kind of have lying around we still have the sky track and we're going to be able to use this to cut some of the limbs that are above that barn just in case we get a bad tornado we don't want that destroying the building and my beautiful friend Matt here is going to be taking down this adorable little tree today. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, sweet wampum. You guys are wondering the reason why we need to get rid of this tree is because this whole area here is going to be a pad for our new building. And this tree was already half dead and it's only a matter of time before it falls on the house. But while our boy Matt is working on that bad boy, I'm going to show you guys the other stuff we did. I finally got rid of these nasty pipes in the middle here. We just don't need those anymore. I am going to be taking down these kennels and I'm probably going to be moving them over to that side. Now that we're done using the storage container for the insulation and the building materials. And this is all we have left in here. So I can go ahead and get rid of this stuff. And then we can have this thing as an enclosure and we can put a nice little mural right here we also had a lot of dead branches on this mesquite tree so we went ahead and trimmed those down as well what is that in your mouth kevin i've decided to name petunia's little friend here techno blade this is techno blade he is a little boy in honor of the based techno blade but look at how nice this is you guys we also cut down these branches on this pecan because they were starting to rot and they would be in the way of this building hey this kind of reminds me of the whomping willow <laughs> Timber, as the kids might say nowadays. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is this? This little mistletoe I see here? A little mistletoe. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know the rules, Matt. Oh, God, you know no the rules. <laughs> you can see they're already starting on the fence here. We need to get rid of all these branches here because this is a danger for the house, like I said. We have these beautiful gutters, and I have this door that I can get into the building through here. This is where we keep our incubators for the orphaned and injured wildlife. These three garage doors here are here for little baby rat heights so they can go outside and then come back inside and we'll close up the door and we'll have a heater in here for them. We also have a little door right there. And this back section here is going to be for a little corral where we can have orphaned and injured baby deer. And these could be white-tailed deer with the wildlife rehab permit or they could be fallow deer and axis deer, other exotic deer that are going to hunts. We could also do all kinds of other stuff, but this little paddock area here would be a separate safe area for the deer to grow up in that's safe and away from the other domestic sticks and essentially for wildlife rehab this whole section here can be just for the wild animals and the rest of the farm can be for the domestics pretty soon that pond will be really nice and finished we'll have stones and a little waterfall over there and then a, hopefully a little creek that goes through this wooded area but this is it you guys this is what all of our money and time went to you guys gave us fifty thousand dollars on the gofundme we love you appreciate you thank you so much i matched that and that's what made this happen i had to match that for the build the concrete the insulation uh, and all the other things that we didn't include in the actual price of just the metal this is what we have and this is what we're going to be working with i guess one other thing i'd say is i'd love to get a little underground french drain system or some kind of little drain and funnel it straight into the pond or another little tank if we could harvest all the rainwater that we get from this building that would be incredible whoa is that kevin trying to bite my hand sir my handsome baby boy my handsome baby kevin boy trying oh you bit my hand <laughs> you're not trying to 
bite my hand, Dar. Oh, he bit my hand. <laughs> it's good to see Kevin is getting back to his regular old self again. The Pigertons are doing really well. And these two get along super well and they keep each other warm all night. The emus love to eat the sweet feed, but I also give them rat tight grow. Our little naturally born chick is growing up and is now a basically an adult chicken. Homelander's both handsome and thriving and Kevin is trying to attack me again for this food. Excuse me, guys. Okay, and then I let them just kind of get what they want from there while I feed these guys. And that's their food for the day. They have to steal their food. Oh, excuse me, sir. While they're going to town on that, I'm gonna go ahead and feed Kevin's children. Okay, Kevin, go ahead. Go, go, get on out of here. No, Kevin, you've had enough. Get out of here. He just spat all of his food. Go, go, get out. He's biting me now. He was just biting me real good, as you can see. Excuse me, sir, I need to feed your children. <laughs> Last night was in the high 20s, and all these guys did well. This boy just can't get enough food now, can he? <laughs> you gonna bite my entire arm? <laughs> and then he'll go and try and steal Homelander's food, because he's just a little dingus. He's the worst. Hey, no! No! No, Kevin! No! <laughs> you think you can bully my son, Homelander? My son? You think you can bully my son? You you think you're just the head honcho here, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you not want the smoke anymore? You think you can just bully my beautiful son, Homelander? And then now you don't want the smoke? Oh, I'm sorry, Kevin. Do you not want the smoke? Banished, Kevin. You have been banished from the Urban Rescue Branch. You have been banished. Now one of my chickens is stuck on a neighbor's property because Andrew wouldn't finish the fence in time. <laughs> he said he'd have it done by Saturday. <laughs> but these guys have their food. I also give the baby a little, ooh, I give him a little half a scoop right there. Gotta keep it away from the poo. One of these days, Kevin's gonna pick a fight with Homelander and lose miserably. Last night, I put the goats in here with Remington so they could eat the grass and the bugs in here that aren't my bees. And they do seem pretty happy in here. But man, they sure are a little bit annoying. <laughs> the one thing I do like about the goats so is that they follow me so i can go ahead and open this thing up and then they'll come right on out but these boys love to just climb around on top of things and run around and be cute so i think i will be naming them pewdiepie and market pliers one with more white on his face is going to be market pliers this one's going to be pewdiepies because it's colder Ooh, little dove right there because it's colder the bees aren't as aggressive right now so i'm going to let these guys come over here and graze around the bees Yo Gabba Gabba, yo Gabba Gabba. As you can see, the bees don't want to attack me. So any of the other little guys that are just crawling around here are going to be fine. There's a lot of nice, fresh, tall grass in here for them to all eat. Wow, is this hit rapper and artist the baby? I am such a big fan of your work, you have no idea. Please, hit rapper and artist the baby, don't shoot me in the back of a Walmart. Just kidding, you guys. I've been joking you this whole time. This is actually a kangaroo. I've been, I've been pranking you guys. I've been pranking you guys hard this whole time this is actually just a little kangaroo it doesn't even look like the baby the baby's an adult man his name was actually originally doorknob a lot of you guys don't even know that a lot of you guys don't even know that his name was originally doorknob because you guys don't watch the old lore you don't watch the old video you don't watch the old videos where where oh oh pov the baby stands over you victorious pov kevin's son stands over you pov the baby knocks you over and farts in your face. This man wants me to get up and keep fighting him, but I'm not. Look at the beautiful lemon-shaped body of Soldier Boy. Also, Remington is starting to look a lot better now that I've kind of kept him over here by himself. Leaves from the vine falling so slow like fried oh pigeons you guys you see the pigeons but the baby here is a precious little man oh who likes to bite my hair and scratch at my face and pat my head let me touch his little belly here oh stop it everybody says oh kangaroos are dangerous they're cringe dangerous uncle ben oh look at these adorable toes and tell me if this thing is dangerous they actually have four toes there's two right here there's one big one right here, and there's one tiny little fella right here in the corner. And sometimes he puts his little his little paws right here. Looking at his baby pictures today, it made me want to come out and play with them. But when he was a little baby, I'd like to take his whole paw and I put it in my mouth like this. He says, "No, Papa, please, no, Papa. I'm not a baby anymore." But yeah, guys, for the last year and a half, I've been pranking you. This is not the hit rapper and artist known as the Baby. Uh, this is actually a kangaroo by by the name of Doorknob. <laughs> Pranked you. You all got pranked so hard. No, don't listen to him, everybody. It is in fact me, the Baby. Oh, the Baby, what's going on down there? What are you doing? What is that, the Baby? What is that down there? 
All right, that's enough for today. Whoa, is that the baby? The baby, how forward. Ah! Just because Homelander had to go through it this morning with Kevin, I'm going to give him a little extra treat today. Pour that in there for him. And I'll give Karen a little bit of extra treat as well because I love her and she has to live with Kevin because he's her little husband. Just kidding, you guys. Karen is actually my wife and she loves me way more than him. Look at how precious and small she is compared to all these other monsters. Look at these little dinguses coming over trying to get some scraps. What is this cringe little thing? Now that Kevin is locked up here, he has to watch all these guys eat their food. One other thing I'll say though, you guys, remember how that worm came by and ate all of the tackberry trees? Some of them re-bloomed with their leaves. So these two trees here think that it's spring. This tree thinks that it's spring. This tree thinks that it's spring. This chicken is stuck on the neighbor's property because it's stupid. And after I feed these guys their actual food, I head out of here. Oh, look at this boy. The ounces are still thriving per usual. As you can see, there's big ounce and a little ball. Cringe has this little nest here out of trash that she made for some reason. Our beautiful baby boy is now morbidly, morbidly obese again, but we still love him just the same. He just doesn't know when to stop eating this stuff, but that's to be expected after he ate our entire metal building. But I went ahead and put all this stuff down here so the cringe has a lot of insulation for when it gets cold. She insists on sleeping in there and not over here with this big fat boy. But we have our new roof now and the porch no longer leaks, but I am keeping this nasty because it reminds us of where we came from. I had the cappies inside last night because it was nasty. Much, much too cold for them. But all the grass here is recovered since they've been gone. And as soon as these guys are done with those trees, I'm gonna push them to the backfield again for the next two days until we're ready for the winter storm. But that cold front's gonna be nasty. At least for now, they've got all this fresh grass that they can have and some nice clean water they can bathe in. Matt said he built the Fortnite. I still have Poggers and Queen locked in the bus here. I let him out every now and then to poop because Andrew still hasn't finished the fencing, but uh, Matt's here hiding in his Fortnite, his Fortnite that he built. I sure do love the small indie game known as Fortnite. Tabby knocked this tree down, you guys. It's Tabby's fault. Tabby knocked the tree down. Tabby hates trees. <laughs> she hates this tree. Looks like Tabby's all packed up to abandon us again in Florida. She's going to Florida to abandon us in our greatest hour of need. She's running off with Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife. How's about you guys all go thank Tabby for abandoning us for Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife. I hope this doesn't destroy the building. Chimp. Kim. Bye, Tabby. That's it for now, though, guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Ah. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh -huh.